Hi guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. It's the Young Dog Farm. Uh, However, we are interested in farming, young people are interested in farming. So today, we are going to talk our new cow shed. It's a modernized one. So this one we have built using metal, not like the previous ones where we used timber. So this one, we shall show you the advantages of this one and the disadvantages of those one and the disadvantage of this one and the advantage of those ones. So welcome to our video. Share, like and subscribe. Join, join us in the journey. The water stuff. So up and water kwana kunya maji. That's why they, we have tiles. This to keep the area clean. Adi sakyo maji kwa uchafu tuweza kudeflect na tuweza kuona kwa uchafu. So we have two water trucks in this shed. This one mwingine kwa pale mwisho. then the second part is where we have the feeding truck. So hapa ni penye watakuwa na kunywa watakuwa na kunywa hizo hard foods. So hizo ni pia grass, dry concentrates zimekangwa kwa hizi trucks. That's why lazima tuweke mabati juu ukiweka dry, dry concentrate lazifai kupata maji so ndo maana una, unaweka shed kwa sababu ya maji singe we go to the next part the, the feeding the feeding area is divided into parts served by ziko 20 this is all 20 sasa kila ngombe anaingia kwake 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 hasa inafungwa so we have a metal yenye inaingia huko katikati unajifungia hapo unajifungulia zikimaliza kukula we go to the next part the next part is the milk in area hapa ndipo watu watakuwa na milkiwa so this is the milk in truck pale anaeke wa chakula kimilkiwa so we have one for this shed uh, but watatongeza nyingine with time so for now we have one milk in shed in this shed okay so these are the sleeping spaces so zimebakisha kwa kwa mattresses so we have some mattresses that we are using but it's a kwa juu akujakonga kabisa so this is the sleeping this sleeping area we have to, we have plenty of them that approximate so e shed in enough about 20 cows approximately to the maximum juu ukiongeza wengine watalala huko nje na si conducive so the sleeping areas wako ziko 20 We go to the next so in the sleeping area lazima wake mabati that's why we have the translucent ones zenye zina allow light na zina allow heat ili wakilala huku kuwe na joto na kuwe na mwanga za kutosha that's why you can see the translucent sheets here okay we go to the next so, this is the rest in area hapa ndipo watakuwa nakuja wala kuzika zenye wataka kupata jua direct sunlight anakuja na simama hapa wanapata direct sunlight Water. I told you I will give you the advantages the advantage of this modernized one it's because the animals there is no much repairing of the shed juu huko kwa mbao unaona huko huko kunyira kwa mbao we keep on repairing each and every time kila sandi repairs repairs unapata kunyira kudovuzika second advantage ni ati ngombe hawezi kula misumari kuna huko ukiona kuna misumari utoka kwa mbao so ngombe wanakula and that's not hiyo hiyo ipai so tuna prefer kuna metali kwa kuna misumari hawezi kula so on the disadvantage this one is more expensive so mfuko lazima utomoke so it's more expensive kuijenga hivyo tu structure metal is expensive hivyo uh, tu so This one is more expensive so ile nayo ni cheap to construct the team by Kitira Mahal. So we go to the next. So that's our new modernized cow shed. So thank you for following our our journey into the new modernized house tutaonyesha ngombe zikiingia tutaonyesha zikiwa na mattresses na ili mbone venye tuna keep on cleaning the shed do in modernized one so itakuwa na vitu modern uh, kupima maji itakuwa modern kuclean itakuwa modern so subscribe to our channel the young don farm bye we are the best so if you are cool and farming unaweza tu comment hapo chini tutakusaidia kuanza farming 
Only in interesting for the Jana, for the Jana to have one the farming to next to the government to what I said, you are too sana to as the farming taxing team in the media, even a kid, but of the taxing. So, thank you and subscribe to our channel.